Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Find the antiderivative of pi to the power of x with respect to x. Step number one, when you think about the antiderivative of some constant a to the power of x, the answer is going to be pi to the power of x divided by ln of pi. And again, don't forget there are infinite many cases at a constant c. If you want to verify it, then you're doing it right. Spend one extra minute to double check. If you go back, y equals to pi to the power of x divided by ln of pi plus c. When you find the derivative, this is going to be pi to the power of x divided by ln of pi times ln of pi. And of course, when you cross that out, as expected, you'll get exactly the question back. I hope this makes sense.